Hello and welcome to another A1 video. The Yellowstone supervolcano erupts and destroys the world as we know it. Most people have heard that Yellowstone National Park sits over the giant Yellowstone caldera, but I don't think most people understand the world-ending catastrophe that this eruption would actually cause. Yes, humanity would survive as a species and the world would go on, but the people that will someday live through this disaster will wish that they were dead. So, this is the hypothetical scenario I have chosen. Sometime during the summer of 2020, some terrifying changes begin to occur around Yellowstone National Park as animals vacate the area and poisonous gas vents kill the ones that remain. Scientists begin to sound the alarm and declare that an eruption event is imminent. Unfortunately, the world is too busy playing political games and debating who will win the election to actually evacuate the parts of the United States that lie within the kill zone. The COVID-19 virus is still causing shutdowns. Americans have essentially been barred from international travel abroad. Most Americans don't pay attention enough to know the danger lurking, and the ones who do know the danger can't go anywhere to escape it. One day a mild earthquake occurs, and the pressure under the massive 1,300-square-mile caldera unleashes hell on Earth. The shockwaves from the explosion create a sound so loud that it travels around the Earth four times. 600 miles away in Seattle, windows are shattered and eardrums burst from the sound. The sound of the eruption is so powerful that it can be clearly heard from Anchorage to Miami. Salt Lake City, Boise, Billings, Casper, and everything in this circle of death is immediately destroyed by the wave of rock, ash, and heat traveling across the country at hundreds of miles per hour. Several million people are killed within the first hour. As the gargantuan cloud of ash begins to blow with the prevailing winds, an entire foot of ash covers everything as far east as Iowa, and millions of people die of asphyxiation from this ash over the following weeks. In Chicago up to six inches. Ash is even raining from the sky in Washington, D.C. and New York. All airplanes are grounded indefinitely as the tiny rock particles of ash in the atmosphere will destroy any modern jet engine. Global transportation comes to an immediate halt. Most of the United States and Canada cannot even drive their personal vehicles as the ash clogs up the air filters and destroys engines. Jet planes will be grounded throughout the world for at least six months. Volcanic ash impacts and mitigation by this time, every airline in the world would be bankrupted, as well as most companies and governments. Then the real pain begins. The wind distributes the ash into the atmosphere around the world, preventing sunlight from reaching the earth. The following winter millions living in cold places freeze to death, as record low temperatures are recorded, and fuel and power shortages prevent many from heating their homes. The next summer brings snow in June to much of the northern hemisphere, and multiple hard frost events in August kill crops around the world. There is no food to feed people or livestock, and cattle and wild game die off by the millions. The food shortages and famine devastate populations around the world over the following years. With poor diets and cold weather comes disease which kills even more of the population. What the world needs at this point is organization. We need nuclear power and hydroponics to feed the remaining population of the world since traditional agriculture has failed. Unfortunately, the world is in chaos and the finger-pointing in governments and the rioting in the streets prevents any plan from coming together. With the United States in ruins and the entire world financial system based on dollar-denominated debt, hyperinflation takes its toll. Even if you live in Florida which was mostly untouched by ash, the economy is ruined. Your savings evaporated nearly overnight as basic commodities such as bread and milk rise 10,000% in price over the course of a single month. Within a year the value of the United States dollars has depreciated to nearly nothing and gold is trading for hundreds of millions of dollars per ounce. Disastrous events and irresponsible governments can in fact create inflation events that are mind-bogglingly high. If you don't believe it, I would recommend reading a bit about the, the hyperinflation crisis, 1923. During this event, inflation reached a mind-boggling 29,500% during the single month of October 1923. At this rate, prices doubled every three days. Whenever the world economic system does in fact recover, it will definitely not be based on the US dollar, and the territories which were in the former USA will not resemble anything that we remembered in our lifetimes. By the time weather returns to normal in 20 years or so, nearly half of the world population will have died, mostly from starvation. Once powerful nations the world over will have been overturned by revolutions. And a new unrecognizable world will emerge. I could go on and on speculating in this hypothetical situation, but I'll spare you the speculation and include a few historical pieces of information 
To back up my points. In 1783 the Lockie eruption in Iceland disrupted weather and food supply throughout Europe. The food shortages that resulted played a major role in the French Revolution in 1789. Nearly a quarter of the population of Iceland died from famine, and crops were destroyed all across Europe and even in the USA. The Mississippi River froze at New Orleans, that year as weather patterns were changed the world over. The Lockheed volcanic event is estimated to have released 8.7 cubic miles of material into the atmosphere. The last time the Yellowstone supervolcano erupted it released an estimated 600 cubic miles of material, or almost 70 times larger than Lockheed. How an Icelandic volcano helped spark the French Revolution in 1815 The fallout from the eruption of Mount Tambora in Indonesia caused the year without a summer around the world. Dry fog blocked out the sun, and crop failures occurred all around the world. Riots, arson and looting took place in cities throughout Europe. The last Yellowstone eruption was 16 times larger than Tambora, and our population is exponentially larger today. If our food supply were to fail the consequences would be far greater than in 1815. Year without a summer, Wikipedia in 1883 the eruption of the Krakatoa produced the loudest sound ever recorded. It circled the earth four times and ruptured the eardrums of people 40 miles away. Some reports place this number at up to 100 miles away. The eruption was clearly heard 3,000 miles away. The world's loudest sound check out this incredible video of the sound wave that can be produced by a very small volcanic eruption orders of magnitude smaller than a Yellowstone eruption. Krakatoa was an estimated 0.7% the size of the last Yellowstone eruption. In eastern Nebraska, you will find the Ashfall Fossil Bed State Historical Park. This is an amazing place that I would highly recommend visiting if you ever find yourself in that part of the country. You won't find dinosaurs here, but you will find many mammal fossils. Horses, rhinos, deer, and camels were preserved here in several feet of ash the last time the Yellowstone caldera decided to blow its top 12 million years ago during the Bruno Jarbage event. This area was covered in up to 2 meters of ash from the Yellowstone caldera, which at the time sat in present-day southwestern Idaho, over 1,000 miles away. So, if you want a good hypothetical scenario, think of the worldwide destruction of lives, governments, and economic systems that would occur if such an event were to take place. A volcano